Hello, everyone out there tuning in to this University of Lynchburg volleyball game versus EMU here in Turner Gym. My name is Ethan Morotsky, and you are watching the Lynchburg Hornets Sports Network. And we are ready to bring you another exciting ODAC volleyball matchup on this fall break Friday night. Lynchburg is coming into this game with a 6-8 and eight record and is trying to add another win and make it 7-8. and eight. Their record at home is currently 3-2 and two with a conference record of 3-5. and five. On the other side of the gym, we have EMU. The Royals record sits at 7-12 and 12 with an away record of 2-5 and five and a conference record of 2-6. and six. They come here into the Hill City of Lynchburg trying to secure their eighth win total and third in conference. We here at LHSN look forward to bringing you an exciting and competitive ODAC volleyball matchup here in, the Lin here in Lynchburg for those that can't be here to witness it. The player here to watch for the University of Lynchburg is Kaylee Keough. She is a sophomore from Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, she leads the team in kills when, with 148 and aces with 19. So far this season, she's played in 53 sets and with 19 assists. And she's also second on the team in digs with 114 and also has a total of 13 blocks. Player to watch for EMU is Lizzie Kirkton. She's a senior from Goshen, Indiana. She's an outside hitter for, for the Royals. And she's played in 66 sets this season with a total of 203 kills, 27 serving aces, and 173 digs. She is also fifth in the ODAC in points per set with a total of 3.6 per set. The last time Lynchburg played was against Randolph last Wednesday. And this is actually the longest layoff of the season as they haven't played in over a week. Unfortunately, that game resulted in a loss in four sets with Randolph winning three to one. And we're gonna see how they can bounce back and see if there's any rust here for Lynchburg as they can hopefully kick some of it off tonight and get a win against EMU. Head coach for University of Lynchburg is Hannah Gibbons. This is her fourth season with Lynchburg as she joined the staff as a graduate student after playing four years at Wingate University. They promoted her to interim head coach in early 2020 and officially named her the full-time head coach in 2021. And she is also the director of all volleyball here at Lynchburg. Coach Gibbons is always big on energy and enthusiasm. She talks all about fast starts, will be the key of her team and sustaining it and matching the fight backs. A single thread is unique, like each of us full of purpose and potential. A strand designed to connect, strengthen, and unite. But we face different challenges and have different opportunities. By acknowledging that others may struggle in ways we do not, we can celebrate our differences, embrace each other, and fortify the ties among us. A single thread can fray, yet when it's woven with another, a bond forms. A new strength created by the fabric of the whole. 
Let's embrace the fabric we make together, the diversity of our threads, to reach beyond ourselves and overcome the impossible. Alrighty, the national anthem has been played and we are ready to have an ODAC conference volleyball game here in Turner Gym. Uh, the head coach for the Royals is Casey Steinbrecher. Uh, he became the 10th head coach for the EMU women's volleyball team when he took over the program back in 2020. He has a ton of coaching experience as he was the associate head coach at JMU for 10 years and was also an assistant coach at Georgetown College before his time at JMU. Last year, he helped EMU to their best conference record finish in 20 years. And we are ready for the matchup to start here. players getting ready as their bench players right now are dancing around to the music here that Lynchburg plays before every single game for every team. There's, already, there's, the, there's the libero, Cassie Blackmore, a sophomore from Lowensville, Tennessee, wearing the red jersey there, different color than the rest, as we get ready for this volleyball game to start up. which we're gonna start to serve here. Serve comes in, nice dig from the libero for EMU, and a nice dive as they launch it over to the Lynchburg side. And a kill attempt there, and it will fall, and that will be Lynchburg's point. As they take an early one nothing lead, that's the best way you wanna start a game. Number seven, Jana Leak. He's gonna serve it again for Lynchburg here. Comes the EMU with a kill opportunity here. And it will fall on the court side of Lynchburg as Blackmore cannot come down with that. And it will be 1-1. Tie ball game here. Uh, Megan Miller will be the one serving here for EMU. She's a sophomore, or senior, sorry. She sends this one over. Here comes Lynchburg. Kaylee Keo with a nice spike there, and that will give Lynchburg another lead, two to one. Gonna try and get some momentum there. Kaylee Keo, the player to watch today in this one. Number 17, a sophomore, has fit into this squad well with a young team. She serves this one over to the other side. And Ian is just gonna Take this one over to Lynchburg side, try and get a reset here. And there's a nice spike by Tori Williamson to give Lynchburg an even bigger lead at two. As Kaylee Keogh going to be the server again for Lynchburg, try and get them to go up by more than two. Nice dig there for me and you. Get over there. Twenty-four hits that one into the net, Lizzie Turkton, and that will be Lynchburg's point, I believe. It will be, and we will see Kaylee Keo get another serve here. Lizzie Kirkton, the player of the game to watch for EMU, uh, having some trouble here off that serve by Keo. Uh, Lynchburg going to send this to the other side, kill, and it's going to take a deflection, and it will go out on. EMU side, and it will be another Lynchburg point as they expand their lead to four. It is five to one in favor of Lynchburg here. Keo gonna continue serving here for Lynchburg. And that one is going to go out of bounds. She tried to sneak that one over the blockers and ultimately leads to Lynchburg's point, and that will be a timeout call by the Royals here as they are going to try and calm this one down, keep this momentum that Lynchburg's got to a halt. As Lynchburg is up six to one early, five point lead is 
very good. It's what you want in the first set. You know, come out strong for this Lynchburg team. The Hornets have a very young team here as they really only have, they only have one senior and a couple juniors. The rest are all sophomores and freshmen. That one senior is uh, Princess Salafu. She brings the leadership to this Lynchburg team and also leads the blocking up front. But she, did, she does contribute to the offense here. She gets some kills every now and then. But it's really that, it's really that experience that she brings to this team as she's been playing for a long time and she's trying to get this team you know, ahead early, trying to get this playoff run started in October, trying to get some momentum going into it. As we are gonna come back to the game, Kaylee Keogh gonna still keep serving here, keep this momentum going for Lynchburg after this timeout. A nice dig there by EMU. Spike is blocked, and Lynchburg gonna try and get another point here. And they will, as they, it was blocked, but blocked out of bounds. And that is another point for Lynchburg as they make it seven to one. That's a great way to come out of a timeout there. You know, teams use timeouts to stop momentum and Lynchburg just says, nope, kept it going. Spike by EMU and it will fall. Sophia Denby gets that kill there and makes it seven to two. Trying to get a little comeback coming here for EMU early in this set. Lizzie Kirkton, the player to watch, will serve this one for EMU as she sends it to the other side. Nice little dive there by Jana Leak to keep this one alive for Lynchburg as they send it back to EMU's side. And that kill there is blocked by number 12, Bree Spainauer, and that is gonna be a point Lynchburg. This is domination in the beginning of the first set. Eight to two, a six point lead for Lynchburg. As we are gonna see Ava Meinhardt serve this one for Lynchburg. A freshman Ava at six foot. And that spike is going to be out for EMU. And that'll be another point Lynchburg, nine two. Seven point lead here coming in to the first set. A great way to start the entire match. And Ava ready to serve this one up again. One almost got into the rafters there, went really high. And that spike is a point for EMU. That was a really nice spike by one of the Royals as Ava could not contain it. And that will be a point EMU. Point for the Royals, 9-3. We're gonna have Sierra McVeigh serve this one out for the Royals. She sent it to Lynchburg. And a nice little move there. Almost got it into some open territory. Here's a libero setting it up for a kill attempt, but ultimately goes into the net as Bree Spanauer makes a small error there. And that'll result in a point EMU. We'll see McVeigh serve once again. Nine to four Lynchburg. Serves that one to the Lynchburg side. Keo with a nice dig there. Spainauer with another attempt. And she gets a point for Lynchburg. Bree Spainauer, number 12. After a error into the net. She says she wants it again and ultimately gets Lynchburg another point and puts them back up by six. Lynchburg getting ready to serve this one. And there it is, the seniority from Princess Salafu. She sees the open space right there after the mishandle of the dig from the Royals, and she just puts it in open space and gives another point to Lynchburg. Nice dig by the Royals. They're gonna send it over to Lynchburg's side, trying to get a full reset here on defense. And another good kill and another good block, and that one hits the Raptors up there and ultimately looks like it messes the Royals up here. And that one is gonna be sent over to Ian's side. 
And that one's gonna be blocked and a nice dig by the libero of EMU as she dove full length to get that one. And that will result in an EMU point. Some subs coming in here for the Royals. Number three, Carla Hostetter is gonna be the one to serve this one up for EMU. 11 to five to Lynchburg. Some words from the referee to the coach. Some frustration may be setting in here. It's served by EMU. And a nice diving effort by Maya Green, but unfortunately comes up short, and it will be another EMU point, 11 to six, five point game. EMU trying to get some momentum back here after going down big early in this first set. So it comes across, and that one again will not go the way of Lynchburg, as Maya Green cannot get there because of the stands, and another EMU point. These are two great serves from the Royals here of Hostetter. That she's gonna go again here for the Royals. Nicely played by EMU, keeping that one to a halt. Regsburg gonna try again with Salafu and that one is hit a little too far and it will be another point for the Royals. The Royals have got a lot of momentum going right here. And they've cut the lead down to three. It's only 11 to eight now in favor of Lynchburg. And that one will be out on the serve, a serving error, and that'll be point Lynchburg. Four point game now. Maybe that serving error by EMU is exactly what Lynchburg needs to get back on track here and continue this lead in the first set. Morgan Clark gonna take this serve for Lynchburg. As it looks like we have a problem with an earring for Madison Stockner. And ultimately there will just be a timeout called here. EMU is actually third in the conference for serving aces at 2.32 per set. As they, uh, as you can see, I mean, that, that comeback that they've been trying to make has been a lot off of serves, off of dig mes mistakes, and EMU really good at getting those serving aces for that team. Waiting on Lynchburg here to continue the set. There's about 15 seconds left in the timeout. That was EMU's timeout, so that will be their last one of the set. Lynchburg has both of them still, as they haven't really needed to use one to stop any momentum. And we are now back. Morgan Clark gonna serve this one out for Lynchburg and send this to the Royals. And a nice kill there by number 11, Madison Stockner. As she gets the Royals another point, cuts the lead down to three. Looks like the timeout seems to be working right now. As Mara Wolford sends this one to Lynchburg. And that one is gonna be out of bounds on that hit by the Royals and that will result in a Lynchburg point. As Cassie Blackmore, the libero for this Lynchburg team, 
Sends this one to the other side on the serve. And that one will also be out of bounds. A really nice kill there, but just couldn't catch the line there. And results in another point for the Hornets. Blackmore, Blackmore is a, a sophomore from Nolensville, Tennessee. And as we said earlier, she is amazing at the libero position. And that'll be a point for EMU there. But Blackmore, again, absolutely amazing at the libero position as she is second in the conference for digs per set. With 257 total digs on the season. As she digs that one up there, gives Lynchburg a chance. And that kill won't go anywhere. And point EMU. Tips one of Lynchburg players, but ultimately stays in bounds, and that will make the score 14 to 11. Lynchburg started this set off with a lot of momentum as they got a pretty decent lead on EMU, but EMU is clawing their way back into this game. Nice dig by Blackmore. Lynchburg, Keogh gonna send this to the other side. Here comes EMU. Keogh gonna do it again, and that one will be out of bounds. Point EMU. Manuela Marine gonna serve this one up again for the Royals. As she sends it over to Lynchburg. And a nice little play there, nice heads up play there for Lynchburg. And again, they, she does it again. What a play by Lynchburg. A nice heads up play, knowing where the open space is on the court and just tossing it up there and letting the ball do its thing, touching the ground, giving a point to Lynchburg. As we'll see, Jana Leak, number seven, serve this one out again. Jana Leak is a sophomore setter. As she sends that one into the net, which will result in an EMU point. Fifteen thirteen in favor of Lynchburg. It's like as the set goes on, EMU just claws its way back and it get, gets closer and closer. As the serve from Megan Miller goes towards the Lynchburg side, and that dig will not go Lynchburg's way. A mistake on the dig for Blackmore, and it results in an EMU point, and this is a one-score game now. 15-14. And timeout will be called for Lynchburg. As they try and stop this momentum that the EMU Royals have. And try and go back to ultimately what they were doing at the beginning of the set. So going back to head coach Hannah Givens, like we were talking about earlier, she's always big on energy and enthusiasm with her team. And she's about the fast starts uh, being the key for this Hornets team and then sustaining it and matching their fight backs. Under coach Givens, they Hornets typically play well inside Turner Gym as the record at home is 20 and 11 under the four years that Givens has been coaching here. As we are ready to continue this set. EMU ready to serve this one to Lynchburg. Megan Miller. Kayla Keo with a kill there and it gets dug out by number seven, Mara Wolford. And that will end up as EMU's point, and we are back to a tie ball game, as this is as close as it gets, and it's only the first set. Megan Miller gonna keep serving this one. She's a senior from Millersburg, Ohio. She serves this one to Kayla Keogh with a dig, but ultimately goes back to her. She tries to get that kill and sneak it in there. 
And a block by Lynchburg. Kaylee Keo can do it all. Kill, block, dig, you name it. She can do it all. Kaylee Keo gets point number 16 for Lynchburg. And now she's going to be serving for Lynchburg. She can really do it all here. As she sends it over to EMU. And another block for Lynchburg. There is Bree Spainauer getting that block, giving Lynchburg back a two point lead. Keo sends it over back to EMU. And a mistake on the dig. And Ava Meinhardt takes advantage of it and just smacks it down into the ground for an easy point for Lynchburg. That's a heads up play right there for the freshman who has played a majority of the season for Lynchburg. As he tries to get a block there and a really nice dig by Blackmore keeps it alive for Lynchburg as they send it back over to EMU. And there she is, Lizzie Kirkton, the player to watch for EMU. She gets a missile kill there for the Royals and that makes it 18 to 16, still a two point game as Lynchburg is attempting to close this one out. And Kirkton will send this one over on the serve. And a nice diving play there by Leak, and that ultimately saves the team and gets a point for Lynchburg. A really nice dive there, putting extra effort in, keeping that ball alive. Now Meinhardt's gonna serve this one over to EMU. A tipped block. Goes up for Lynchburg as she just, Ava just pokes this one over, trying to catch them off guard. A nice attempt at a dig there, or at a kill there, excuse me. And a nice play there, thought it dropped. Almost a great play by Salafu. And ultimately, number 12, Bree Spainauer kills this one into the ground. And a long volley there, but it ends up in Lynchburg's favor. And now Lynchburg five points away from securing set number one here. Einhardt gonna serve it out again. Send it over the Royals. Nice serve there, it hits the top of the ceiling or the rafters. And kind of messed up the MU there, but that's something you got to deal with here in Turner Gymnasium as Lynchburg secures yet another point. Lynchburg going on a bit of a run here. Twenty-one sixteen. Meinhardt serving this one back to the Royals as it hits the net, and a little bit of luck there on that side. And it hits the net and goes straight down. And a serving ace for Ava Meinhardt. Freshman from Jefferson City. And it's 22 to 16 now. Three points more and Lynchburg secures set number one. Here comes EMU and it is a block by Lynchburg. And that one is denied real quickly. Nice block there from Lynchburg to Bring them within two points of the set. Meinhardt gonna serve it again. A nice serve there, right close to the net. And that one tips a Lynchburg player and goes out of bounds on that kill by EMU. And EMU finally getting a point here. Making it a six point deficit now for the Royals. They attempt to come back here like they already have in the set already. Come back and try and Make it a close one, a closer one. That kill attempt by Spainauer goes way over and another point for EMU. Lynchburg not quite at set point, but they are getting closer and closer. And a nice dig there by Blackmore. And they're gonna keep that one, they're not gonna keep that in play and they're gonna call that EMU's point. 
Looks like Spanauer caught a little bit of the ref's stool there. Or maybe it was a net violation. As Megan Miller gonna send this one over. Excuse me, McVeigh. And that one hits the Raptors just like it did with EMU and ultimately throws Lynchburg, throws Lynchburg off there. And they're gonna call a timeout here at the end of set one to calm this momentum that EMU is trying to stir up here. Like we were talking about earlier, Lynchburg has a very young roster. They have one senior and I believe two juniors and the rest sophomores and freshmen. And it is relatively similar for the Royals at EMU as EMU has have five upperclassmen and 12 underclassmen. And maybe upperclassmen is something that this Lynchburg team is missing with only having Salafu really as the most experienced player on the team. Yeah, EMU's got those five upperclassmen and experience is, experience is really the, one of the most important things when it comes down not to just the regular season, but especially the postseason as we have one month left, really, until the ODAC tournament starts up. Both these teams trying to fight for a spot in that tournament. And we are getting ready to continue set one. See who will come out on top. Very close here. Lynchburg has had momentum most of the set. They've been leading most of the set. I believe the whole set and EMU trying to cut that down. And that'll be a kill for Lynchburg. And that'll make it set point here. Nice kill there by Kaylee Keo again. As we'll see Abby Barlow come onto the court to serve here for Lynchburg. To try and get this set number one. EMU with a kill and it's a block and a EMU just gets that over the net to Lynchburg. And that one will be Lynchburg's point as it takes a deflection and that results in set number one going towards the Hornets. What you're missing. always needs uh, that the student comes first because not everyone's going to become a professional athlete so they make sure that we will do great in academics I knew that would only open the door to my future and I'm really excited to start my dream program for physical therapy
welcome to the campus recreational department at the University of Lynchburg. We believe in a student-centered approach to recreation, making sure that all students have fun and engaging activities that promotes wellness, personal growth, and Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to Turner Gymnasium as we are getting ready for set number two here. University of Lynchburg came out on top on the first set. And it is a very special weekend, I guess half week, depending on how you look at it, as it is fall break for the University of Lynchburg, which means one important thing for these students here at the university, and that means no classes. Students get to go home if they want, or they can just stay here, relax at the hive, and do nothing but enjoy their time off of their stressful classes. Now for the athletes playing for a fall sport, much like the players on the court now, they get to focus on solely their craft, and they don't have to worry about the homework that might be due by the end of the weekend. As set number two is now underway, EMU gonna try and turn things around, and that one takes a deflection off of a Lynchburg player in EMU has their first lead of the game. Set number one, there were two ties that we saw, but zero lead changes. Lynchburg stayed in the lead whenever there was one for a team to have. That's a nice serve by EMU there. And Kaylee Keogh gonna get a kill attempt there and she will find some open space and tie the game up at one. KK, the player to watch here for Lynchburg. Because she's going to serve this one out to EMU. That one going to hit the net and ultimately lead to a Lynchburg point. It looks like one of the Royals players didn't really know if it was going to go over the net or hit the net and wasn't sure what to do there. It did all she could, but leads to a Lynchburg point. And we almost saw the same thing happen there twice in a row. That one takes a deflection, and this will lead to a Lynchburg point. Three to one Lynchburg now. KK getting ready to send this one back over again as she keeps serving for this Lynchburg team. And that one snuck over the blockers of Lynchburg, and that will be a point for the Royals. That was a really smart heads up play for EMU to sneak that one over there and find an open spot on the court. And now here comes Lizzie Kirkton, player to watch for EMU, serving this one over. And takes a deflection and it will result in Lynchburg's point. Tori Williamson gets the kill there. Looked like it was going out of bounds, but it must have taken a deflection at the net, and EMU couldn't contain it. And that serve is going to result in an error, serving error, and EMU will cut the deficit down to one, see if they can get another tie here and keep this set too close. McVeigh serving towards Lynchburg. And a nice kill attempt and a better dig from the Royals. And another point for Tori Williamson as she gets another kill and gets another point for Lynchburg. And we will see Abby Barlow come back onto the court to serve here for the Hornets. And he contains a kill attempt there and a nice block by Salafu, the senior for Lynchburg, wearing number 15, showing her experience there as she gets up and blocks that one and denies. 
the Royals up a point and gives Lynchburg a three point lead. As Barlow sends that one over. And that will, that error will come down to Lynchburg's point as it looked like there was a mistake on the set maybe. And Sophia Denby had to go back a little bit on her jump and couldn't get it over the net as Barlow sends it over yet again. And a kill attempt there for Wolford. It's contained by Lynchburg and now it's back on EMU. Wolford again. Attempt by Tori Williamson again. As we will see a net violation here for EMU resulting in a Lynchburg a Lynchburg point here as the lead is raised to five. Lynchburg, much like the first set, has a lot of momentum at the start of the second set. And Barlow's gonna send it over once again. A nice serve there from Barlow. And that one will result in an ace for Abby Barlow, the sophomore from Mineta, Virginia. And this will come down to a EMU timeout here as the Lynchburg Hornets have a nine to three lead over the Royals. Abby Barlow served a lot of those. Only 5-1. Serving gives a lot of momentum for this volleyball team. You know, if you got a good serve, yeah, it's gonna throw the other team off and ultimately give you an advantage in the volley. We saw Tori Williamson get a couple kills there. She is a freshman from Elizabeth City, North Carolina. She's been in the mix every now and then this month and this season. And she's been doing a pretty good job getting those kills, getting up, smacking the ball down. There's Abby Barlow waiting for the Royals to be finished in their timeout. Hoping to keep this momentum going for Lynchburg. And we are ready for set number two to continue. Abby Barlow serves it over to the Royals. Royals contain. Dug up by Lynchburg on the kill attempt. Tori Williamson, an error there on the hit, and it smacks the net and results in an EMU point. Referee saying something to the players. I'm not sure if the players look confused or if they just aren't, don't really care as EMU sends this one to Lynchburg. And Salafu tries to get a kill there and it is blocked by the Royals and results in a point EMU. Hostetter is gonna serve this one over to Lynchburg. Abby Barlow gets that one. Tori Williamson with the kill attempt there. And that will be a kill for Lizzie Kirkton, the senior from Goshen, Indiana, showing why she is the player to watch here. All that experience that she's got. She gets that spike there for the Royals. And a very nice serve. Once we're gonna send it over, try and get a reset here. There she goes again. Kirkton with a kill attempt and a nice dig by Lynchburg. And she's gonna try one more time. And she's gonna go low and a soft hit over the net. Kirkton with another kill there. And she gets the better of this Lynchburg team. She went hard two times in a row and they got it back to her again. And she just went soft and hit it right over the blockers. And that is where some experience comes into play. 
as that will be Lynchburg's point. Lizzie Kirkton is the reason we say experience is just worth so much. Because she knows what to do in certain situations in the blink of an eye. That kill there is gonna go way out of bounds on the deflection. And another point EMU as they're clawing their way back again with a score of 10 to eight in favor of Lynchburg. Two point game here. As Wolford sends this one over and it will be out on the serving error, which makes it a Lynchburg point. 11 to eight now. Now we've got the libero, Casey Blackmore, serving this one for Lynchburg as EMU are gonna attempt to Get a nice kill there, and Lynchburg digs that one up. And a couple touches trying to get that block for Lynchburg, and just falls. Looked like we got two touches there at the net on the initial block, and then trying to keep it up after that. We'll see Manuela Marin, Marine, excuse me, serve this one to Lynchburg. Ooh, Lynchburg tried to get a nice move there, catch them slacking, and a rare mistake from Lizzie Kirkton as she hits the net on the spike attempt, and it stays on their side, and that'll be Point Lynchburg as we see subs coming in for both teams. We'll see Jaina Leak, the sophomore, serve this one out. Trying to get momentum for this Hornets team. KK smacks that one over to the EMU side. Point Eastern, excuse me, EMU. And that makes it a two point game at 12 to 10. Second set just as close as the first set was for both these teams. Lynchburg maintaining their lead still as Megan Miller will send this over to the other side. And KK gets a nice kill there. Got some velocity on that one. And EMU cannot handle it. And she raises the lead to three. Kaylee Keogh serves this one to the other side. And a nice block there. And EMU somehow keeps it up. Spinhauer thought that one was going to touch the ground as she looked away as soon as she made the block. But Lizzie Kirkton goes for the kill there and knocks that one out of bounds, and it'll be Point Lynchburg. Keo going to serve this one out again for Lynchburg. Oh, and it hits her in the face. Hope she's okay. She looks like she's fine. That's Jane Alik there, taking that one for the team. Coach Givens checking on her, making sure she's okay. She says, I'm fine, and starts hyping up her team. That's a team player right there. Ref also checking on her as obviously a hit towards the head can result in internal injuries that programs always harp on. As she, Dana Lee sneaks that one over to the other side. And to me, it looks like she's perfectly fine. Got that point for Lynchburg. Extends that lead to four. 
15 to 11. I see Meinhardt serve this one over. Decent serve for Meinhardt. And that kill was blocked right into the net. And that'll be a result for an EMU point. It was hard to see it from this angle. I thought it hit the net on the kill. McVeigh serving this one over. A nice diving day gets to the other side. And uh, violation on the on the touch there. Gives a point to EMU. McVeigh gonna send this one over again towards the Lynchburg side. Dig there by the libero, Blackmore. And sneaks that one over there. Is Bree Spainauer. And Lynchburg loves doing that, just sneaking that over the blockers. You don't always need to go for the 100 mile per hour hit. Sometimes just a little lob over them, finding some empty space works for them. Abby Barlow sends that one over for Lynchburg. Almost a mistake on the dig. And EMU's just gonna have to send this to the other side. And it almost finds an open space. And there will be a touch at the net. And it will be another point for EMU. EMU once again coming back and making it a close game. Lynchburg extends their lead. And then EMU grinds it out and brings it back to within two. Paul Stetter serving this one over. And some miscommunication there for the Hornets results in an EMU point. Some miscommunication with Salafu. Had to try and just get that one over to the EMU side and unfortunately couldn't. And EMU is now within one. Nice serve there from Hostetter. And you sends that to the other side. KK gets the dig there. And Spain hour with a huge spike there. Gets the kill and the point for Lynchburg. Trying to gain some momentum here in Lynchburg. As Morgan Clark comes into the game to serve. And EMU sneaks that one over. Laney Klein doing exactly what Lynchburg did a couple points ago and just don't need to hit it as hard as you can. Just need to find the open space. Mara Wolford serves this one over to Lynchburg. Barlow with the dig. Kaylee Keough with a nice kill. EMU stays with it. He brings it back over to Lynchburg. Keough gonna try it again, and she finds the open space. And a huge kill for Kaylee Keough. Another kill for Keough. KK. You see Blackmore serve this over for Lynchburg, the libero. And a nice block there from Lynchburg. And that will ultimately help them get the point there as EMU, in order to hit that one over, they would have had to have a fourth hit. Maybe a lack of communication there. And a nice kill there by Kirkton. Gives EMU another point, brings them back within two. Scores 19 to 17 in favor of Lynchburg. Lizzie Kirkton, there she is again. Marine serves this one over to Lynchburg. Kaylee Keough gets that kill attempt. It hits the Raptors again. 
and a nice kill by Laney Klein right into the blocker that goes straight down and lands on Lynchburg's side. And Lynchburg, Lynchburg gonna call a timeout here, try and stop this momentum and gain some of their own. I keep saying it, it's a close second set just like the first one. Lynchburg gains momentum, EMU claws right back. Decent crowd here in Turner Gym as it is fall break, like I said earlier. So a lot of the students and athletes have gone home, take a break from classes, from sports. A lot of parents here, a couple students I see here. Coaches, students, parents, athletes, student athletes. They're all out here supporting the volleyball team here on a Friday night. Friday afternoon. As we are ready to continue set number two, 19 to 18 Lynchburg. We're gonna see here who can grind this one out and close it. EMU trying to make it one to one. As Marine gets ready to send this one over. Keo just gonna send that to the other side, get a full reset on defense. And a nice kill there by EMU. And that'll make it a tie game. EMU trying to get a lead here. Turn this set around or late in the late in the set. Marine gonna serve it again. And that one stays up there. And a great dig and save by EMU. And a error on the kill by Kaylee Keough results in an EMU lead at 20 to 19. Players pleading their case with something. Keo going over to the coach to possibly tell her what she saw or coach telling her what Coach Givens saw. Maybe saying the ball hit her head. EMU gonna meet up as a team here. Figure out what they're gonna do here after getting the lead, trying to get some momentum to keep it. And ultimately nothing changes, EMU point. Marine gonna serve this one again. The junior defensive specialist. Lynchburg gonna send that one over, tries to sneak it there. And EMU ultimately recovered, hits the rafters again and leads to a Lynchburg point. Those rafters, you gotta watch out for them. It's tough though, you never know. But th these volleyballs, they go high. And I think that's like the third or fourth time that it has hit the rafters. But it doesn't go in EMU's favor and it's ultimately Lynchburg's point as Leak sends that one over. EMU gonna try and get a full reset on defense, just sends it over to Lynchburg. Here comes Keo, just knocks that one over, tries to catch him off guard. And Spain hour. Excuse me, Meinhardt sends out over and EMU hits it on the Lynchburg side and it takes a deflection and a great effort by Cassie Blackmore. But ultimately cannot get to it and EMU retake the lead at 21 to 20. Megan Miller gonna serve this one over. 
Going to try and extend the lead. And that one going to go out on the dig there. And another point for EMU. And Lynchburg calls a timeout. Trying to stop some momentum here, make sure EMU doesn't get a bigger lead and eventually win the set as it is getting towards the end. 22-20 in favor of the Royals. Our team works to provide a variety of recreation opportunities for all our undergrad and graduate students. Let's take a look at the different areas of Campus Rec. Campus Recreation covers all outdoor recreation. Our team offers dozens of trips per semester, maintains recreation facilities on campus, and offers outdoor certificates and leadership training. Megan Miller gonna line up to take this serve for the Royals. Megan Miller actually leads the team in assists with 361 and also leads the team in serving aces with 31. Sends it over to Lynchburg side, it hits the net. What a serve from Megan Miller as she adds on to her serving aces total and adds on to the EMU lead. 23-20 in favor of the Royals. As Miller gonna send this one over again. And that kill results in a point Lynchburg. Took a deflection and went out. And point for, kill for Bree Spainauer again. As she's clobbering balls today. Player to watch, gonna take this one for Lynchburg on the serving line. Kayla Keough. And a nice serve by Keough. And a mistake on the dig results in a Lynchburg point as Lynchburg is the team clawing its way back and grinding this set out. 23-22. Yeah. And there will be a timeout EMU. Trying to stop the little momentum that Lynchburg has now. Or gonna, Lynchburg gonna try and keep. As we see that kill there from Spain Hour. Not really much you can do there. Well placed, well velocity on that shot. Spain Hour second in kills for this Lynchburg team with 123. And she's also third in blocks with 22. She is definitely one of the key attacking positions here along with Kaylee Keo, hitting from the outsides. Here comes Keo with the serve. Big mistake on the dig there. Almost resulted in a point for Lynchburg. Tori Williamson knocks that one over to the EMU side. And the kill attempt by Kirkton is successful. And we are now at a set point for EMU. 24-22. Tables have flipped here in this set. Lynchburg was leading for most of it. And that serve is gonna be out. Point Lynchburg. The Hornets gonna try and get a point here on Meinhardt's serve. Extend this set past 25. Meinhardt's serve, a good one, almost Got a point there for an ace. 
And there's Salafu with a nice kill there as she ties the game up at 24. And there is no longer set point here as we will have more volleyball in this set too. Meinhardt gonna go back and serve this one again. Serve, contained by EMU. Almost got a point there. And they will say point EMU. Two hits there on that play by Lynchburg. And the mistake brings another set point for the Royals, 25-24. McVeigh serving that one over. And a nice play by Lynchburg. Salafu with another kill there. It looked like EMU thought that was gonna go over the net at first. And Lynchburg kept that one up. Got one more hit there right to Salafu. And she snuck that one right down there. And ties it up at 25. Lynchburg serving it over, trying to get an advantage here. And a nice kill for EMU. And we will go back to set point again for the Royals. 26-25. Lynchburg doing whatever they can to stay in this set. Carla Hostet are gonna serve this one for the Royals. A junior from Harrisonburg, Virginia. Salafu finds the corner, and it will be another kill for Salafu. Princess Salafu, the only senior on this team, showing why she has all this experience, gets another kill for this team, and we have another tie game in the second set. Serve for Lynchburg. A nice dig there, but it will go out of bounds, and EMU has yet another set point. Nice kill there by the Royals. Wolford gonna serve this one over to the other side. Dug up by Blackmore. Kaylee Keough getting that one, and Sneaking it over the blockers again is Lynchburg, and we go to another tie game. Tie set at 27-27. We'll see Blackmore serve this one out, try and give the Lynchburg an advantage and what they need to secure this second set and go up to nothing here in this match. Nice dig there by Lynchburg as they try and sneak that one over, and it falls for another EMU point. 28-27, very close second set. This is what volleyball fans love to see. Madison Stockner serving it over for the Royals. Kaylee Keogh gonna knock it over there to the Royals side. Nice dig there by Lynchburg. Keo going to send that one over to the other side. And Kaylee Keo finds the line there and ties this game up again. Keo showing why she has the most kills on this team. And ties the game back up at 28-28. Lynchburg sends this one over, almost a mistake, and they're gonna call it a double hit. And Lynchburg is now the team that has a set point here at 29-28. A chance to go up 2-0 in this match is huge. Serve by Lynchburg, nice block. They're gonna try it again, and that one takes a deflection and goes out of bounds. And EMU now is the team tying it up from a set point. 29-29 now. Both teams putting all their blood, sweat, and tears out on the court here, trying to claw this one out. 
And that will be a serving mistake by Laney Klein. It results in a Lynchburg point and another set point in this set two. 30-29 Lynchburg. We're gonna say we're gonna see Kaylee Keo send this one over to the other side. And a nice kill there by Kirkton, showing the speed that she puts on that ball. Ties the game back up at 30. Very long set number two. I don't think any of these people mind. This is a fantastic game. Kirkton gonna send it over on the serve. Blocked by EMU. Lynchburg recovers. A nice dig there by Kirkton. And a nice block by Lynchburg. And Lynchburg goes back to set point. It was a really nice dig by Kirkton to keep that one alive with a dive. And when it goes back to Lynchburg's side, it, it's blocked and goes down for a Lynchburg point. That one hits the rafters again. EMU gonna stay alive in this one. Lynchburg has momentum here. Almost snuck that one up there. And blocked by Lynchburg. EMU gonna stay alive here, keeping this one up. Another block by Lynchburg, and it's gonna fall. Princess Salafu gets the block and secures set number two for Lynchburg. What a set. 32-30 is the score of the, of the second set of the game. Absolutely amazing performance by both teams. And we hope all sets are like that here in Turner Gymnasium. Intramurals is open to all students who wants to play on a team. We have men's, women's, and co-ed leagues for each sport we offer. Those looking for next level competition can join Club Sport. These are student-led organizations with the support of campus recreation. You can join one of our established Club Sports or you can start your own with our support. Campus recreation offers an excellent amount of opportunities to stay active, make new friends, and develop new skills. We hope to see you soon. Your career in the game by enrolling in the University of Lynchburg MBA program with an emphasis in sport management. This program opens the doors to new possibilities for a variety of careers, from being an athletic director or working in athletic administration to working for professional organizations, your favorite team to running a local parks and rec department. And employers are increasingly requesting and preferring individuals who have postgraduate education specifically looking for an MBA. And so the University of Lynchburg Sport Management concentration in the MBA program sets you up for success and it sets you apart from the many other people looking for jobs in the industry. Learn from winners. Here you will learn from professors and mentors who have spent their careers doing exactly what you want to do. Increase your marketability in an $83 billion industry. If you have a 3.0 GPA, the GMAT is waived. There's no application fee, admissions occurs on a rolling basis, and our online program is ideal for working adults. When you enroll in this program, you enroll in the opportunity to learn from the best of the best. You're a professional. Welcome back here, fans of volleyball. Set number three coming up here. Lynchburg is up 2-0. And now that October has been upon us for a couple weeks now, 
it is time to start thinking of the playoff push for both these teams, really. Last year, Lynchburg were nine and three in the month of October and looked to kickstart a run to the postseason. They made the ODAC tournament each of Coach Given's first three seasons, so it is definitely time to start thinking about the playoffs with just 10 games left in the season. Lynchburg sits at eighth in the conference at three and five with their conference record, and EMU is tied for 10th in the conference with a two and six record. So I'm sure they are looking at this month the same way as they try to jumpstart a playoff push here tonight. Set number three is about to begin with a serve to the EMU side. And a nice dig there from Lynchburg. EMU gonna try again and it will be Lynchburg's point with a block there. And Lynchburg starts off the first set like they did this first, it starts the third set, excuse me, like they did the first set. Serve goes a little bit behind them as they send it over to Lynchburg's side. And Spainhauer with another kill today, giving Lynchburg a 2-0 lead. In that last set, set number two, there were 10 tie scores with a total of 12 for today's game as that will be EMU's point and it'll be two to one now in favor of Lynchburg. So there were 10 tie scores in that second set with three lead changes. And of course, lead changes came towards the end where Lynchburg and the Royals were going back and forth trying to secure that second set victory. EMU keeps this one alive. Knocks that one over, gonna try and full reset here. Here comes Kaylee Keough with a kill and it gets blocked. And a mistake on the hit gives the point to EMU as it goes under the net. And we have a tie game here at two. Lizzie Kirkton gonna serve this one over. And a nice serve by Kirkton. Kaylee Keough couldn't handle it. And EMU take the lead. Kirkton sending it over again. That dig goes to the other side. Goes back to EMU. Chance for a block and a kill attempt goes the way of EMU as it takes a deflection and goes out and EMU now is up by two. Score 4-2 in favor of the Royals. Kirkton serving again. Kayla Keough with an attempt at a kill gets blocked by EMU. That was a loud block. And a nice little play there by Maya Green. Sneaks it in there and finds the opening space in the middle of the court. Looked like they caught EMU a little slacking there. And Lynchburg is now ready to serve this one with KK. Trying to get some momentum here to maybe go for the sweep. And that kill takes a deflection and falls on the side of Lynchburg. And EMU gains back their two point lead. Manuela Marine gonna serve this one up. Number one for this team. And a huge kill for Bree Spain Hour. Another one for her in this match. As she brings the deficit down to one. Spainauer had five kills in that second set. Nice dig there by Lynchburg, keeping it alive. There she is again, another kill for Spainauer. She's on fire right now, trying to keep the momentum going. For, or trying to get some momentum for Lynchburg as they tie the game up at five.
Einhardt with a serve, a nice serve. And the kill for EMU. And EMU retakes their lead. That was Madison Stockner with that kill. As it is now six to five in favor of the Royals. Lynchburg contains the serve. Good effort on that kill. And the Royals just send it over. Give Lynchburg another opportunity here. And they are going to give that to Lynchburg. Tori Williamson on that attempt. Number 13. And we will see Jana Lee come in to serve again. Jana Lee came into this game with 15 aces. She was at third for the team in aces and that'll be another point Lynchburg as Lynchburg retakes the lead at seven to six. That kill on EMU ultimately goes wide. And Leek gonna keep trying to serve this team out and sends that one out and game is back tied. Little serving error there by Leek. Wolford gonna serve this one for EMU. Dug up by Keo. And Leek sends that one over and it turns into a point. What a play that Jaina Leek made after, right after making a serving error. Bounce back and get a point for your team to retake the lead. Clark here steps into the game for the serve here. And a huge kill by Laney Klein. Put a lot of speed on that one, and there was no chance that a Lynchburg player was getting on the end of that. See number one, Sydney Phillips onto the court here for Lynchburg. A junior from Greenville, Virginia. And the serving era will lead to a Lynchburg point. And Lynchburg retakes the lead yet again. You know, looking back at the first set, there were only two tie scores and zero lead changes. And the second set was completely different. And again, 10 tie scores and three lead changes. And an error on the hit there will bring another tie score in this third set. And even though there were a ton more tie scores and lead changings in the second set, both sets were just as close. The last set just happened to go 30, 30 points. And Lynchburg wiping off the floor with a towel, maybe some sweat on the floor so they don't slip, as that would be not great for the players. As we are going to restart here, scores tied 9-9. And we'll see Megan Miller serve this one to the other side. Leek sets it up. Kaylee Keo just knocks it over there. And she's going to attempt to kill here. And it will fall down to the floor. Kaylee Keo with yet another kill in this one as she gives Lynchburg the lead from or at 10 to 9. Keo again, the team leader in kills. She has been dominating in this one. Lynchburg serves it over. And it will be a serving ace for Maya Green, giving the Hornets a two-point lead. A great serve from Green there. The junior from Fredericksburg, Virginia, up north. And that will be a violation there that will lead to EMU's point. 
Fredericksburg, Virginia, about three hours up north of Lynchburg, depending on traffic, of course. When you get closer to that northern Virginia area, DC traffic starts to roll in, and it gets a little irritating. And a serving error by Kirkton will be point for Lynchburg. Kaylee Keogh gonna serve this one for the Hornets. Hornets have a two point lead at 12 to 10. And blocked by the Hornets. EMU gonna try again and that will not be blocked but it will go out of bounds. And they're gonna say, I believe they're saying it took a deflection and that will be EMU's point. Cuts it down to a one point deficit for EMU. Very close call there, I couldn't tell from this angle. But of course I'm biased and I thought it was Lynchburg's point. But the refs know best. They definitely know better than I do. And that serve is gonna go out. Another serving error for this EMU team. Something you don't really see from this Royals team as they, again, are third in the conference for serving aces per set. Very good serving team as that serve by the Hornets will hit the net and fall to the ground. One score game, third set just as close as the other two. as Hostetter serves that one and it will go out of bounds. Three serving errors in a row for both teams. And Lynchburg go back to their two score lead. As Jana Leak checks in, going for the serve as she has all match. Nice kill attempt there, originally shut down by Kayla Keough. And they sneak that one over there. Laney Klein hits it right over the blockers and gets a point for EMU, trying to get some, maybe momentum shifted their direction as they need a lot of it here in the third set. They are down two nothing in the match and a serving ace could bring them more momentum as it is a tie game now. That's Mara Wolford with another serving ace today. And trying to change the lead to the Royals direction. And that one is blocked and will stay on Lynchburg's side. And EMU will now take the lead, which forces a Lynchburg timeout. Three of these sets have been a close one. Cannot complain about the volleyball that these fans are watching today. We talked about a special weekend or half week, I guess you could say, about how it is fall break here at the University of Lynchburg. We have two special weekends actually, because next weekend is homecoming for Lynchburg. A very big weekend for not just sports and students or student athletes, but a lot of alumni come back and enjoy some time with former coaches, teachers, players, friends. There will also be a Hall of Fame banquet that the national champions of baseball will be recognized as that one heads into the rafters. And a couple hits up there, but EMU recovers and sends it back over. And that kill is blocked 
A huge block by EMU. Laney Klein again, giving the point to EMU. Regaining some momentum after that ball went up into the rafters and stayed up there for a couple of seconds. Players weren't sure where it was gonna go. And a nice dive there by, by Leaf. Gets it over to Lynchburg side and that kill will go towards EMU. And there she is, Lizzie Kirkton. No surprise here. And EMU have a three point lead, 17-14. will come out of the match and kill attempt by Lynchburg and it will stay in after the deflection and Lynchburg trying to grab some momentum here we saw number four Reagan Shanahan come into the game she's a freshman that is super talented but has been dealing with some shoulder issues that have kept her somewhat limited. And here she is in this game, trying to get this momentum back in the favor of the Hornets. As Morgan Clark serves that one over to the Royals side. To attempt there, a nice dig as Lynchburg stays alive there. And that kill by Klein again, falls on the Lynchburg side. Gives EMU a three point lead. 18 15 in favor of the Royals. As Madison Stockner is getting ready to take this serve for the Royals and send it over to Lynchburg. And that serve is out. Another serving error in this third set. And that's exactly what this Lynchburg team needs right now to get back, possibly tie the game up, and retake the lead. See there, there's the, the dig that kept the Hornets alive there. Nice diving plays by Lynchburg there. And a kill that goes towards EMU's team. 19-16 now. Some subs coming in and out of the game for both sides as Shanahan makes her exit. Hopefully get to see her later on in the match. Royals getting ready to serve this one. And that'll be point EMU. Dig was going towards the net and Leak tried to just knock it over there and Lynchburg calls their second timeout of the set. It's their second and final timeout. EMU with a four point lead here, 20 to 16, trying to claw their way back into this game and win their first set. Five points away from doing that. And Lynchburg trying to bring their rampage of points here in the third set to a halt as the timeout is coming to an end. And we see Megan Miller at the serving line with the ball, getting ready to send it over to Lynchburg. Here comes Kaylee Keo with his kill attempt. And the referees say it was in. Kaylee Keo with yet another kill in this one. We see Maya Green come here to come in the game to take the serve. Maya Green's a setter for the Hornets. 
And that one will be point for Lynchburg as that kill goes over the line. And Lynchburg has cut the deficit to two. Green with the serve again. And a nice kill by Ava Meinhart. She does it again. Cuts the lead down to one. Almost a tie game again here in set number three. Ava Meinhart. What a great play. And that ball will be out again. And another point for Lynchburg. And we have yet another tie game here at 20. It's looking like this one could be just like the second set and go to possibly 30 points. Served by Green again. EMU just has to send it over. Spainhauer with an attempt at a kill there, but it's blocked. EMU kept it alive. And a nice move by Kirkton. Beautiful play there. Again, just lobbing it over the defense. Giving EMU the lead back. Kirkton gonna be the one to serve it now. Lucio with an attempt there, trying to do what Kirkton did. EMU keeps it alive though, as they send it over to Lynchburg's side. And a nice move by Maya Green. Excuse me, Maya, yeah, Maya Green. Nice move there, as she pushes it towards the other side and gets a nice point and another tie game for Lynchburg. KK gonna serve this one over to the Royals. And that one will be out again. A nice serve there by KK. Results in Point Lynchburg. And we are going to get an EMU timeout here as Lynchburg takes the lead at 22 to 21. As you can see, she was on the right of your screen, but she is walking towards the other side towards an EMU player. That was Shay Allheit, the athletic trainer for the women's volleyball team here. She played softball at Lynchburg during her studies to become an athletic trainer. And she works with both volleyball, beach volleyball, and women's lacrosse. It's always nice to give athletic trainers some credit where credit is due. They are very important to every team, not just here at the University of Lynchburg, but at every school and every program, pretty much everywhere, not just college. Both teams ready to continue set three here. Lynchburg up 22-21. Keo going to send this one over. And that one will go towards the Lynchburg side and stay in. A nice kill there for EMU as they tie the game up at 22. As Marine sends this one over. Lynchburg contains and a nice move. Spain Hour almost got that one. And she did, in fact, get that one. They're going to call it a double hit. And Lynchburg retakes the lead at 23. Two points. Two more points for Lynchburg if they want to win set number three and sweep this match against the Royals. Meinhardt behind her whole team, getting ready to serve this one. Trying to finish this match up. And that one will go out of bounds. Another serving error for Lynchburg. As Ava Meinhardt exits. And we have another tie game at 23 points. I feel like a broken record. And that 
Hill is blocked by EMU and they keep it alive again. And that kill will go towards EMU. That was a very, very intense volley from both teams as EMU blocked Lynchburg twice. And Lynchburg being athletic enough to keep it alive, but EMU coming out on top and taking back the lead at 24 with a set point. Nice dig there by the libero. That one stays in. And that one, a mistake on the kill there by Klein. And it is another tie game at 24. Seeing some deja vu out here. I feel like I've seen this before tonight. 24-24. This is a fantastic set again, like all of them have been tonight. Leak with the serve. And a nice block by Salafu as she saw that the only thing that EMU could do there was just knock it over to the other side and reset. And she got a huge block. And now it's set point for Lynchburg and match point. And there will be timeout EMU. And that will be, I believe, their final timeout here as they're going to try and stay in this game as long as they can. Make sure that this match point does not go the way of Lynchburg. No timeouts left for any team here. EMU trying to stay alive here. They're down to their last possible last point of the match. As we'll see, Leak serve this one out again. Trying to finish up the game here. Possibly with an ace. Wouldn't that be something? I think these Hornets will take a win any way they can get it though. And another block by Salafu. Almost did exactly what she did the point before. And Lynchburg keeps it alive here. And that one blocked, and they're gonna call it Lynchburg point. And there you have it, everybody. Lynchburg completes the sweep with a 26-24 win in set three and a 3-0 win in the entire match. And that is all she wrote. Players lining up to tell each other a good game. All three sets were very close. Could have gone either way, really. And Lynchburg just managed to find ways to stay stay locked in as my old pal Chase Brimmer would say got to stay locked in and they did so and they won all three sets to complete the sweep so the next game for Lynchburg is against Shenandoah tomorrow night here in the Turner Gymnasium for another ODAC matchup and the next game for EMU is also against Shenandoah. And that will be next Wednesday, the 18th, in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Close game through the, entire, the entirety of the match as it was back and forth the whole way, really. Lots of ties, a couple lead changes every now and then. But ultimately, Lynchburg comes out on top and secures another win in October. And they're going to see if they can use the momentum of this game to continue a playoff run or a playoff push here and see what they can do tomorrow against Shenandoah. So we, uh, we here at LHSN... We here at LHSN, we wanna thank you all for watching, listening, and letting us show you a great volleyball matchup. I wanna thank you for listening to me. It's my first time out here, and I hope you'll be able to hear my voice more often in the future. So we wanna thank you here at LHSN and hope you have a great night and a great weekend.